Hey, hello guys, and welcome back to my YouTube show. And today in our third lecture of the Cold War stories, I am going to talk about the space race, which was a competition to get into space between the democratic capitalist United States. And it was a competition between the communist Soviet Union or USSR, or which we call present day Russia today. And so anyway, um, and so anyway, so the, Events of the space race can be traced back all the way to all the way to 1930s. If we want to understand the space race, we have to go back all the way to the 1930s. So the 1930s, that was when Nazi scientists or Nazi scientists under Adolf Hitler were using, were building this atomic bomb so they could test it uh, somewhere. I think it was on the United States or something like that. And so... They were building these bombs, atomic bombs. And so by like World War II, when World War II was taking place, German scientists went to, uh, went to the United States and all other ex countries that were under Nazi control went to the United States so they could help the United States build an atomic bomb. So, help, so they could create an atomic bomb that was known as the Manhattan Project, which lasted from 1942 all the way to 1946. So that was the uh, atom that was the Manhattan Project. That was to build many nuclear weapons as possible. And so after that, it was um, after that it was in 1945 on July 6, 1945, July 16th, 1945. That was when the United States tested its first nuclear bomb or atom bomb on the Los Alamos. And so that. That was the first time ever in history we used an atomic bomb and on not on a city. That would happen in August of 1945 when we dropped two nuclear bombs on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which was in August of 1945. And so after that, before that, the United States tested its first nuclear bomb in the Los Alamos, which killed it didn't kill anybody. It was in a desert. And what some witnesses appeared at the explosion, that was Robert Oppenheimer, who was watching the who watched the the bomb go off, and it was uh, there was a bunch of other scientists were watching the ex the explosion, witness the explosion. And so, by after World War II ended in 1945, that was when it ended in 1945. That was when the uh, Soviet and um, Soviet Union and the United States gained the German technology that they had. And so Soviet Union and United, I think it was only Soviet Union found a map of the German technology and they built their own uh, nuclear bombs and missiles and V2 rockets, kind of like the United States did too, because they had the, they took the German technology like Soviet Union did. <clears throat> and so after the war, it was Walter von Braun, who was one of the Nazi scientists during when Hitler was in power. He came to the United States and he helped the United States build this uh, this rocket so they could, so United States could travel to the space during that period. And that, and then it was in the fifties. That was when a lot of uh, nuclear testing was taking place during that time. And so, after, so during that time, it was also, it was in, uh, 1957. That was that was August of 1957. That was when uh Soviet Union tested uh, actually sent its first missile into the space. This not a nuclear missile. It was just a, a missile they sent into space, and it was successful, from what I recall correctly, from reading from some resources. And so during that time, that was this uh, rock. They sent a rocket into the space, and then by two months later, it was in October of 1957, October 4th, 1957. That was when uh, Soviet Union put uh, Sputnik, and they put this um, Russian dog. It was Laika. It was a uh, I can't remember what dog it was. I think it was just a regular dog they put in the space. And some reports say that Laika died in the space during that time because the the heat was so hot in the space. I think he either came back to the space or he either died in space. Those are from, those are some uh, re that's what I read from some resources during that period during when I was learning the history of the space race. 
And so then I think it was also USSR also put this um, dogs, a bunch of other animals in the space. It was a bunch of other dogs during that period. And so, and then the United States wanted to figure out, wanted to know how to get to the moon, but they wanted to get to the moon first before uh, Soviet Union did, because if Soviet Union got to the, got to the moon first, it would be like a big victory for the Soviets. And it would be like an embarrassment for the United States if the United States didn't get to the moon first during that period. And so you not and so uh, the Soviets beat the Americans into the space first because Soviets uh, put this uh, dog. It was Laika. They put Laika. No, they put Yuri Gagarin in the space, and that was like a big propaganda victory for the Soviets. That was like a big victory for the Soviets. It was during the Nikita Khrushchev rule when Khrushchev was leader of Soviet Union because that was the time when Stalin died in 1953. And so Khrushchev took over power over Soviet Union during his rule. And he held that power for some time until 1964 when he was outposted by Comrade Brezhnev. And so they put Gagarin in space and Gagarin became the first human being to go into the space. And so that was like a big victory for the Soviets to go into the space. And so, <clears throat> and so after that, it was, um, after that, the, after that, it was a month, it was a month later on August 25th, no, May 25th, 1961. That was when, that was when U.S. President John F. Kennedy made a speech, addressed the Senate. And he said to them, by the end of 1960, which is 19, by the end of the 60s, which is like 1969, they were basically going to fly to, they were basically going to put a man on the space during that time. And so that actually, that actually was successful during that period. And so they put the first, and so the United States put the first man in space. That was, uh, that was, uh, that Leo, Leo Armstrong, no, Leo Armstrong, they put on the space. And with a bunch of other astronauts, they put those first, uh, they put those human beings, those, those men on the space. And no, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, they put those guys on the space. And so that was like a big victory for the United States during that period. That would take place in 1969. And so, and then, but then prior to that, it was in 1962, the, um, the United States put the first American into the space. That was John Glenn. He was, and then he was a senator before he went into space. And so he became the first American to get into the space during that period. And so after that, it was like, uh, so Americans became, came into the second place during that period. They became the second humans to go into space. And so by 1963, the Soviets put a woman in the space. It was Valentina Tereslova, from what I recall correctly. Soviet Union put a woman in the space, and she was the first woman ever to go into space during that period. The, the space shuttle that Yuri Gagarin was put in was called Vostok, which means east. If you translate it from Russian, Vostok means Vostok. If you translate it to English, it's gonna mean it's gonna mean uh, east. So that's what it. If you translate it from from the English, and so after that it was, um, and so after that it was by the they, they Soviets started competing against the United States all the way until the end of the seventies, and so Soviets put a bunch of other astronaut cosmonauts in the space. And so the United States beat them, beat the Soviets to the moon because it was under the um, Lyndon B. Johnson, who was the president at the time. And so the, so the United States came on the moon first. That was Buzz Aldrin and Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, no, sorry, <laughs> uh, Neil, Neil Armstrong came to the space first. And so they placed, and if you type it in on Google, there's a lot of pictures of it, of the... Um, of the Shaquille O'Neal, no, <laughs> sorry, uh, Neil, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the space. And so they placed an American flag on the space. and No, not in the space, sorry, in the moon. 
And so after that, after that, <clears throat> and so after that, that was like a big embarrassment for Soviet Union because they didn't get to the moon first and the Soviet Union lost to get to the moon during that period. And so, <clears throat> and so by like early, late, early 70s, that was when space race was coming to an end. That was when, that was when uh, the United States and Soviet Union put this uh, space shuttles together. I think it was um, Soyuz or something like that. And it was Apollo, the Soyuz Apollo agreement. They put those uh, two satellites together and they signed a peace treaty basically in, on this um, Apollo and Soyuz uh, agreement. That was basically that the space race was over and the United States won the war. No, not won the war, the space competition against the evil communist Soviet Union. So, and there's still, and there's still, and there's still some reports saying that Russia did not have, or Soviet Union did not have that technology to get, to put a nuclear weapon in space. They say they did not have that technology to put a nuclear bomb or nuclear uh, weapon in space. There are some reports saying that Russia does not have that technology to do that. But I think it's it's impossible. It's impossible because Russia does not, Soviet Union or Russia at the time did not have that technology to put a nuclear missile, a nuclear bomb in space during that time. It was impossible for the Russians to do that. So, and United States won space race, and the space, and and the and the United and space the space came under United States domination, and so United the U.S. won the space race against the USSR. And then also after the launch of Yuri Gagarin. There was a there's a holiday actually celebrated in Russia right now, and then it was in Soviet Union. It was celebrated. It was the day of when Yuri Gagarin went into space, and that was like a holiday, a popular holiday at the time in Soviet Union and Russia during that time. And even in, even in the United States, similar thing in the United States, they have a celebration of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin going to the space. And so that's kind of like another celebration they're having in the United States right now. And so those are kind of like our holidays. We uh, kind of like the celebrations we sell we celebrate every year in the United States. And the Russians have their own holiday. And they actually have some uh, stamp. They have they have this. Um, I think they have this. Um, I'm trying to remember. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture. So please, please stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next lecture or the fourth lecture where I will talk about the uh, the Red Scare, the Red Scare, the, the Beta Pigs invasion and the election of John F. Kennedy. And then in the fifth lecture, I will talk about uh, the Caribbean crisis or the Cuban Missile Crisis. And I'll see you guys in those next lectures. Thank you very much for watching.